Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada blog element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. WordPress has been a blogging system from the start. With Avada, there are several ways to add a blog to your site and you can learn much more about blogging in general in our blog documentation and the how to set up a blog in Avada video, both linked below. Today, however, we are looking at the blog element, which is specifically used to display the collective blog posts on a page. The blog element is basically a legacy element these days, as the postcard element, in conjunction with Avada postcards, offers a much more flexible alternative to display your collected blog posts. For your single posts, they are best displayed using a single post layout, using Avada layouts. See the linked video for more information on that. With all that said, there's still room for the blog element, which is quick and easy to use and does offer some preset designs. Let's have a look at how to use it. I've got a new page here on the electrician pre-built and I'll just add the blog element. It loads on the page and opens to the general tab. The default is displaying six posts on the page using the large layout. We will look at layout options when we get to the design tab, but for now let's configure the content on the general tab. The first option is posts per page. This controls how many posts show per page and this will be where the pagination kicks in. For the moment, I'll leave it on 6. The next option is post status. With this option, you can get the blog element to show posts with a status other than published. You can select from published, drafted, scheduled, private or pending posts. If you leave it blank, it will be just published posts that show. One way you could use this perhaps would be to show private posts on a private page. The next option is post offset. The default is zero, so all posts show. But if you want, you can adjust this to offset the posts. So if you set it to one, for example, the latest post wouldn't show. There are many ways to use this, particularly in the situation if you have several elements displaying your posts on the same page. If you watch the how to set up a blog in Avada video that I mentioned before, you will see an example of how the church prebuilt uses this post offset. The next option is pull post by, and here you can pull them by category or tag. Category is the default, but you can change this to tag if you wish, and this would affect the next two options, where you can choose to have the blog element just show certain categories or tags, or exclude certain categories or tags. In this way, you could use the blog element to display only certain blog posts. The order by option is next, and a blog by default always shows the posts by date with the latest post at the top. But that is just a convention, and here there are seven different ways you can order your posts. Post title, post slug, author, number of comments, last modified, and random. Below this you can then choose ascending or descending for all orders other than random. The next option is show thumbnail, which is pulled from the featured image in the post. You can set this to no here if you like, but visually it generally looks much better with an image. There is also an option to show or hide the title. Below this is an option called Content Display. This controls if the element displays the post content as an excerpt, as full content, or is completely disabled. Here it's on default, which is excerpt, and according to the next option, excerpt length, that here is set to 30 words. You can change this to characters if you prefer in the global options with the basis for excerpt length option under extras, miscellaneous. The next option is strip HTML from post content which is set to yes by default and removes any links from the displayed post content. Then comes a range of other meta options to control what else displays under the excerpt. You can show or hide meta info as a whole, or individually show or hide the author name, the categories, the comment count, the date, a read more link, and any tags. Under this is the usual element visibility option which allows you to choose whether the element is displayed on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID fields, which allow you to further customize the element with custom CSS. Ok, so let's now move to the design tab to see how we can adjust the look of this content. The first option here is blog layout. The first thing to take note of is that the blog element has seven different layouts. Large, medium, large alternate, medium alternate, grid, timeline, and masonry. Most of these layouts can be easily replicated with postcards, but if you want to use the timeline style, for example, this is a good reason to use the blog element. 
For this example, I think I will use a simple grid layout. Number of columns is the next option, and here I will change the default number of columns, which in this pre-built is 2, to 3. I can adjust the column spacing with the next option if I want to, and I might space these out a bit to 40 pixels. I'm also going to set the following option, equal heights, to yes, which means the grid will be very even. Now before I style this further, I might return to the General tab and adjust the excerpt length back to 9, and remove some of the meta items. I think I will get rid of the author name, the categories, and the tags. Yeah, that's a bit cleaner. So now back to the Design tab. After Equal Heights comes the Title Size option, and I think semantically they should be H2s here. Under this is a full typography set, but I think I will just leave this as is. Link Title to Post is the next option, and I will leave that as well. You can adjust the content alignment with the next option, and here you can of course choose from text flow, left, center, and right. I think text flow is working fine here. Under this comes the pagination option, which we can see down here. You can choose from no pagination, pagination, infinite scrolling, or a load more button. I think I might choose a load more button here. Okay, then we get a few color options. Depending on the layout you've chosen, you will get different options here. But as I am using grid, I have options to control the grid, and the first of these is the Grid Box Color option. Here I'm going to select Color 8. The Grid Element Color is next. This option controls various things depending on your layout, like the color of the borders, and also the date box, timeline dots and arrows for the grid boxes when using the timeline layout. It's transparent here, but if I set it to Color 1, we can see the border. And if I quickly change to the timeline layout, we can see that same color for the timeline dots, etc. Okay, back to the grid. The grid separator style is next, which is the line between the title and the excerpt. And you can, of course, control the color of that separator in the next option. I'm happy with both of these. Next, there is a blog grid text padding option, which allows you to control the padding of the content in the grid. And finally, there is a margin option, which controls the element as a whole. Now, obviously, there are many more ways to configure the blog element, depending on the layout you choose, and your preferences with categories and other display options. And if you want even more flexibility, creating a Nevada postcard, and using the postcard element to display your posts gives you the ultimate freedom. But the blog element is quick, easy, and versatile, and allows you to present your collected blog posts in many different ways. For a full understanding of how Avada works with this most fundamental of WordPress's custom post types, please read our blog documentation. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.